What's up guys, this is Ferdinand here, and this is um another requested tutorial by um I can't remember who his name is, but somebody inboxed me and he asked me if I could um do a tutorial on how to create the 3D guy um for the parachute uh, the skydive tutorial. So I thought yeah okay wicked um might as well. So when I upload this it's gonna be part one and then the original video is gonna be part two because you know make it a lot easier. But yeah, basically what you do is, where is it? Right. As you can do, as you can see, I've set this guy on sort of ninety degrees. Uh, where is he? That's all buggered up, but okay, yeah. There we go. I've set him ninety degrees, so he's sort of lying down on the ground. You know, what well, it looks like he is, and I've set a camera to sort of his head to his lower chest stomach area um, just so I don't have to do much work on the legs it's a bit lazy really but it sort of has a good effect to it as well um, you know as he's falling but yeah so when you've got him into place and you've got this sort of basic rig um, what you want to do is you just want to grab his arms his clavicles and um, everything else which will be from here down here and that's both arms um, and you can animate your arms however you want uh, really but um, this is how I done mine so if I go onto my right right clavicle which is this one um, oh shit I need to add some weight effect on there but, oops but you didn't see, you see anything in the video <laughs> which is good so yeah I start off sort of like a dive position where his arms are out in front of him and I'm pretty sure you know how to do that you know you just move him into place right now wait a minute I've got the the wrong bit here the shoulder you want to have sorry not the clavicle the shoulder and you can just put him into place you know such but I started off at this sort of pose and then as I run through one second, which is 30 frames because I render it at 30 frames per second, I bring his arms up to here. And to do that, you want to lift the shoulders up. Uh, one minute. Boom. You want to lift the shoulders up and then bring the elbows down. Something similar to that. Uh, that was pretty quick, but. Yeah, I brought him up to here. And I brought his legs up slightly, but, you know. That don't matter. You can just do the arms, and his um. We'll get to the head later. But yeah, once you've got his arms like that, you scroll through to about what well, I scrolled through to about 52. Brought him back down, but sort of in the same sort of pose, but just lowered his arms a bit. Um, and then through the course up to 105, I brought him sort of, sort of to a skydive type pose. So he comes up. And which is sort of good because when you're falling through the air, sort of the wind's pushing against you, so it sort of pushes your arms up, which is why I pushed him up first, and then he gains control and pushes his arms into the uh, into the wind and then stabilizes his sort of movement. Um, if that makes sense to you, if not, then I don't know how else to put it. So you buggered. But anyway, that's the sort of movement I do. So start off like that. Then go to sort of like a a sort of average pose skydive. Then to a little bit further down. Then to arms forward and out. If I go top view, you can see his arms are out as well. And that's over the course of 110 frames, say, or 105. And that's done for rigging. And then when you've got your camera in place. You want to render it, which you know, if you save it um, as a QuickTime movie, you need to download QuickTime obviously. Check Alpha Channel, go to Options, make sure it's on animation, and click Millions of Color Plus. And what that will do is that will just render just the model, so it's like a PNG picture instead of like saving this and leaving the background out, it does it with a video, but you will not be able to preview this in a Windows Media Player. So if I just open up After Effects, because I've already pre-rendered this, 
and I'll just quickly show you what I mean. And don't it, it'll only work with QuickTime as well. Checking the Alpha channel on an AVI um, will not work. Because you need the millions of colors plus setting. Uh, hurry up. Fuck! There we go. Okay. Then I'll just import it, which uh, was a dive, which is here. Boom. And then, as you can see, I'll just add a white background, drag that below, and you can see the video was rendered out of just the character and not the background. Make sure you don't have any background in Cinema 4D. And then check out the um, my tutorial that's already up, which I'm going to put part two, um, so you can add some like cloud effects, backgrounds, and make it look all nice and snazzy. Um, well, I hope it looks nice and snazzy anyway. So, yeah, I hope this tutorial helped. Um, who um, I can't remember the guy that asked me. I hope it helped. If you want my sort of animation the way I did it, then you can do that. Or you can try your own. I thought mine was alright, but, you know, go ahead and test if you, like, if you want. Legion of Us. Here we go. So I hope it helped. You and that. Please like and comment the video, guys. And check out the next tutorials to come. And there will be another download pack. Some Transformers in um, ship. Because some guy requested that as well. <laughs> so, peace.